And I um I laugh at them. You know, I'll run some overnight loads for a local outfit and they let me come in any night I want to pick something, I can run it. And sometimes, you know, I'm gonna talk shop with uh with the people that, you know, do this type of work. It's a little bit of grain hauling, ain't nothing serious. You know, I don't learn the work to harvest and all that type of stuff. So I, I, I'm really heavy in that ag stuff. And I was talking to a guy. And we had got on the conversation about my 04 Odyssey. You know what I'm saying? And he started basically... He he started the joke that is funny that I uh I look the way I do and I drive a uh, minivan. I'm like, well, what, what, you, what that mean? What, what you mean look the way I do? I remember you you dealing with the ag stuff, so it's it's I'm the only guy in this field near this elevator i'm the only guy near this stuff so near the vat i said that's interesting like what you mean let's break it down he's like nah you're gonna get offended i was like bro i promise i won't get offended like well, let's break this down what do you think i should be driving i said at a time like this and he said at a time like what I said, you know, everybody's going through going through something right now. People ain't got no money. He was like, that don't matter to us. We got CDL. I said, man, you're over. I said, you're a little bit overconfident in the CDL. Aren't you? Nah, nah, man. It don't matter what happens. We'll always be hireable. with the CDL. He said, I've never been laid off with a CDL. That's stuff that people in a normal job market got to deal with. We don't got to worry about that. I said, dude, you're, you're, you're incredibly misinformed. You know, I don't, I don't know what you think, what type of, I don't know what you think, what type of job security we have. I told him, you know, truck drivers get laid off all the time, bro. He said, I've never seen it. I said, okay. I pulled this out, and I'm about to read it to y'all now. I'm about to read it to y'all now. I pulled this out. I said, well, you know, let's Google it. <clears throat> the trucking industry has seen many layoffs in 2024, including uh, many layoffs in 2024. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics report that more than 10,000 truckers were laid off during this period due to malfunctions, slowdown calls by the U.S.-China trade dispute. I said, so 10,000 drivers has lost their job in this 2024 period. We're not even at the end of 2024. So that's on pace to be 20,000 drivers laid off. He was like, well, where, where did this? I said, man, that's irrelevant, bro. What this proves here is that it can happen. The problem I'm having with you is that you believe it can't. You believe they can't be laid off. I said, there's no part of the game that say you should be running around with that level of delusion, my bro. 
anything can happen. Anything we don't we don't we don't live by delusion like that. They can lay you off, bro. They can lay you off. This is this is this is not just. I believe that people think our economy is oh it'll snap back with no problem or or I have nothing to be worried about. That is not true. And you're walking around like you just can't be touched. Dupree, I agree. You're missing. You're missing it, bro. Don't don't get too comfortable. People are buying trucking companies like headsets and stuff and, and 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 downsizing and upsizing. All type of stuff is is willy nilly right now. Don't think that it can't happen. And you laughing at my minivan. I get it. It's a joke. Forget about it. You know, I, I, a minivan. But I said, the minivan's paid off, bro. It's, it's cash, baby. You know what I'm saying? I said, why didn't you buy a cash car? That's the question. I said, the bigger question is, why didn't you buy a cash car? Now, remember, his father runs with us at the farm. Appreciate that. Ugly himself. I see you. You the first to hit the cash app. The rest of them is like, I don't want to hear about this true shit. They're not messing with me today. But it's all love. Mr. Ugly himself is the first to hit the cash app. Let me send a personal shout out to him. I said, I said, bro, I said, you know, my, my minivan's paid off. I said, the funny thing is your father drives a paid off car too. Let me tell you about this guy's dad. This guy's dad owns two houses. He has, um, like 30 some acres, you know, he's, he retired already. He don't even have to drive, bro. He don't even have to drive. I mean, he just got it. He's an old cat. I say your father drives a 1997 Tacoma. You understand that? And he is sitting on money. And it, and it's not mint condition, bro. It's like rusted. The back's kind of rusted. You know, it rattles. But you're, st- you, you're driving this brand new truck. And my question to you is for what? We are not in the position to be driving these type of cars right now. It's not, it's not looking good. So you're laughing at me and your buddies think it's a joke and everything like that because I'm driving. a. I guess it's a grocery getter, right? Yeah, it's a mom car. Oh, yeah, I get it. I paid $19 for that car. Cash out the door. Forget about it. Done. Title in my hand right at the situation. I, I, I bought that car on my debit card, doggy. I just gave him the debit card. He gave me the title. Mine, free and clear. Cash, baby. Cocaine cash. It's just cash. Off the back. I paid the taxes on it. You know how much the taxes was on this car? He said, how much was it, man? It was $67. When I went down to Rebirth to get my pay, pay, paper, they added up the worth of the car, and it was $67. Went to the place. I said, uh, yeah, I want to get this. I got to, you know, I got to get plates for it. You know, woo 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 And that $67 included the fee for the plate. So really, it was like $38. It was nothing. It was nothing. Then, it, you know, and he's like, yeah, but it's a minivan. I said, true. How much is your insurance on this new truck? This is no, listen, bro. This is no lie. It's insurance. It's $284 a month. $284 a 
$284 a month when Everett is laying off drivers right now. I just kept reading. Look at this. Texas Trucking Company lays off 2,000 drivers. Everett Express lays off 55. Penske, 200. Ruan, 76. What do you think is happening right now? Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon. It does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is linked at the bottom on Rumble TV Uncut. So I appreciate y'all. Love the support. If you like the content, man, hit the buttons. Let me know. Thanks for coming to the Patreon. 